Hello students, let us continue with exercise 9.2 of chapter 9, the last question which is question number 6. Now it's given that we have a field PQRS which is in the form of a parallelogram and there is a point A on the line SR such that A is connected to P and A is connected to point Q. Now we, the question is in how many parts is the field divided? It's obvious, see, AP is dividing the field if you do not consider this section, that is uh, this division AQ. If I just take AP, it is dividing it into two parts. But I have another boundary out here or another line or a section that is out here. So my field is divided into three parts. So let's write the answer for this. I'll say the field is divided into three parts. Now let's see the second question. The farmer of the field, who is the owner of this field, she wants to grow pulses and wheat in equal sections of this field. So the question is, how should she do this? Now if you notice, this triangle out here, PQA or PAQ, it lies uh, and the parallelogram PQRS, they have a common base PQ and they lie between the common parallels PQ and SR. Therefore, the area of PAQ is half the area of your parallelogram PQSR. So now this portion out here, if you notice, this portion out here is half of this parallelogram PQRS. Therefore, the remaining portion is going to be the remaining half of PQRS, right? Therefore, if the farmer wants, she can grow wheat in this section and pulses in this these two sections or she can uh, grow the wheat in these two sections and pulses alone in this section. Let's solve this. So now, my section 2, triangle PAQ and parallelogram PQRS lie on the common base PQ and between common parallels PQ and RS, right? Therefore, area of triangle PAQ is equal to half area of parallelogram PQRS. I'll mark this as 1. Now, area of your parallelogram that is area of PQRS minus area of your triangle APQ is what? Area of PQRS minus half of area of PQRS, right? And I will say from 1, right? Now, why did I take area of PQRS minus area of APQ on my left hand side? So, this is the catch because when I subtract uh, triangle APQ from parallelogram PQRS, I am going to get the triangles PAS and QAR. So, we had to somehow extract these two triangles into an equation and uh, for, for my entire parallelogram and the triangle APQ, right? So, let us do this. This is equal to, this implies that area of triangle PAS plus area of QAR, triangle QAR. Now area of PQRS minus half area of PQRS is, so this is 1 minus half, right? 1 apple minus half apple is going to give me half an apple. So this is half area of PQRS. Let's mark this as 2. So from 1 and 2 what do you get? 
that area of triangle PAQ is equal to area of triangle PAS plus area of triangle QAR. Right, because equals that are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Therefore, these left hand sides are equal. So, therefore, what will I say? Therefore, area of triangle PAQ is equal to area of triangle PAS plus area of triangle QAR. So now we have two equal sections. This is half of the field and this is half of the field. Therefore, the farmer can grow uh, the wheat in this section or in this section. So she can grow the wheat over here or pulses in these two sections or vice versa, right? Vice versa means pulses here that is in the center out here in PAQ and the wheat, uh, wheat would be in these two triangles. So, let us write down the answer. I will say solution. The farmer can sow wheat in region marked as triangle PAQ and what was the other thing? Wheat and pulses in regions marked as triangle PAS plus triangle QAP or she can sow the wheat in region marked as triangle PAS plus triangle QAR and pulses in the region marked as triangle PAQ, right? So, this is the solution to a question. The first question was very simple. The second question, all you had to do is you had to show that the center of this field that was triangle PAQ is equal to the sum of uh, these two triangles. So, that would divide your parallelogram into two equal halves. Therefore, the wheat can, uh, uh, the wheat and the pulses can be grow, grown in either of the half sections. That is your triangle in the center and these triangles uh, or vice versa. So, this was about uh, the exercise 9.2. We will continue with the remaining topics of this chapter in the next videos. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.